Okay, this is like the fifth test now. Okay, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna play Far Cry 2. All right, so um, okay, so yeah, here we go. Yeah, geez, this is crazy. This is really crazy, man. Okay, so here we go. Um, wait a minute. Um, this is obviously a safe game. I've been playing it for a little while now. Phew, so I don't know, like, what what should we do now? Because because uh, this is what happened, right? Uh, it is actually rock paper shotguns fault that I'm playing it again, and I'm actually glad because they did a they did a top 50 for first person uh, FPS of all time or something like that. And I went through it, and the Far Cry actually scored quite high. And then um, and he said, yeah, it is actually really good because even though I've try I've been trying to play this game like every single time, dude. And I mean, I, I I live in Namibia, uh, which is inside you know, southern half of Africa. You know, cause and and when we when I heard this, this game was coming out, I was like so psyched. Man. You know, it's like Africa. I mean, it's so awesome, man. It's like Africa, dude. It's so cool. You know, um, this this mysterious country. But what what? Yeah, but I I was disappointed because I loved the first Far Cry. I loved the uh, first Far Cry. And when I heard that they weren't going to be mutants, um, then I was quite disappointed. Because then I knew, oh no, they're going in the wrong direction. So what they did was they ended up trying to do like a simulator, like okay, you're a mercenary, soldier of fortune type of thing. And then it didn't really work. Let's just be honest, it didn't really work. And people were like really pissed off, including myself, because of all the, you know, the, the map being too large. And um, it's just going to take, it takes ages for, for every mission you get is from one side of the map to the other side of the map. And uh, also, what else was, was Oh yeah, of course, the notorious respawning checkpoints, the checkpoints respawning so, so many times. I mean, they changed when 3 came out, right? Um, uh, yeah, I, I wasn't expecting much, you know, but I ended up uh, I ended up playing it and it was actually quite good. I, I had a good experience. But it's very easy. 3 is extremely easy and that's, and that's why uh, Rock Paper Shotgun scored this so high because they said Listen, the the truth is that this game is actually fantastic because it's difficult. Because they respawn. Because everything so far. Because you have to walk so far. Because the people... I mean, look, you drive past a checkpoint and then they climb into a car and then they drive faster than you because they have a catch-up system. You know, it, it's, it's ridiculous. It, it is literally ridiculous. There's so much in this game. Or, for example, when you're climbing out, you're fighting some people, and then there's a there's a group of mercenaries that climb in a car, and then they drive over you. They just drive over you. How many times have I I've been like I died like in this 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 playthrough that I did? Um, yo, man, like just of a car just driving over me, you know. Um, and so much of this game is so stupid just to make it so difficult. But 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 what we have what we have, what I have now because I tried to play this game at least three times through right just to finish it and I haven't been able to every single time I get like uh, just a little bit and then I get I couldn't stomach I can't stomach it anymore and then I have to quit it's just too much but 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 what's great about this one now this is actually a modded Far Cry I got two mods specifically, uh, it was again Rock Paper Shotgun gets the credit because they told me Dylan's mod, Dylan's mod is the one to get for this for this Far Cry. So basically what D Dylan's mod does, it, it makes it uh, it makes it like Far Cry 3. You know, I mean with a pistol you can pretty much kill everyone. It's one shot kill and then it's the same with the mercenaries. So it makes it fair, it, it, the balance, it's a big balance fix. Which makes, which, which was great and I played it for a little bit like that. But then I played it um, I, I then I, I looked around. Maybe there was something better, you know, because I saw uh, uh, it was a mod DB, by the way. And then I saw this other mod. It's called Real Mod, which uh, Real Mode, Real Mode mod for this game, which is awesome. Which I'm playing with now, which rocks. Um, it makes the it makes the enemies a little bit more difficult because otherwise, in Dylan's mod, they're just too easy. Um, but the, that's that's one big one. Uh, the, it's just a balance change for all the guns, and one big change is that your enemies, oh yeah, let's go get some ammo. The enemies can use the weapons that you unlock. So they can use any weapon. They can use any weapon, so that makes it really interesting. And then if you pick up their weapons, it also takes the, it, it acts as a weapon from your, your special slot, because remember you have three slots. Now this is your special, the, the flamethrower is not my special. This is the, the, the primary, I think. And then you have your pistol. And you have your, your pistol, which I, my pistol broke. 
So uh, maybe I should go buy a new one. That's probably a good idea actually, because here's the here's the, uh, the this guy there. The store you buy the stuff. I don't know if you've ever played Far Cry 2. Maybe there's a new audience that hasn't played Far Cry 2. And I wouldn't recommend it actually. I wouldn't recommend it at all. But with these two mods installed, I, and I also installed like a blood mod. A blood mod here. Let's see if I see. Look, look how much blood there is. There's like 200% increase in blood. It is a little complicated to put on. Maybe if you guys you know, are interested, or maybe I'll maybe show you how to put it on. And that was pretty awesome. Uh, the the um, the watch this, watch this mod. So this this works especially well, even if it's close, it's a little bit too much. But if 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 they're in the bush over there and the blood goes out, then then it works very well because this because this game is quite open mapped, you know, uh, right free room. So anyway, I'm back in Africa here, so I'm I'm actually pretty psyched. I um I, I I'm playing it recently and I'm I'm really impressed. Oh, and of of course there's a couple of balance changes like if you. If you grab this now, the the grenade, the grenade, you only get like three grenades instead of fifteen, because it because it uses a different type of ammo set instead of the beginning. What's oh, this? Uh, that's a star. That's a Makarov. That's a Uzi, and that's the, the that's the fla flare. That's a flare gun. I don't know. Let's let's just go for nine millimeter because honestly, that thing just yes, it gets empty so quickly. And there's uh, there's there's a rocket launchers and the, the one big machine gun and then it's missing one and there's the flamethrower. I'm playing with the flamethrower because it's just it's just cool. You know, it's actually it's actually pretty useless. Yeah, it's actually pretty useless except that you can burn off like everything. You can like burn all of this. That's what's awesome about this. Here, let me show you. Let me show you. If you haven't seen this before, here, yeah, look at this. Okay, I'm burning myself. Look at this dude. There's one.